And scientists have been trying to learn more about how effective the vaccines and booster are against the Omicron variant. As Kate Radicus explains, if you do, uh, if you are vaccinated and you catch the virus, that doesn't mean you're not protected. The Food and Drug Administration approved Pfizer's COVID-19 booster shot for children ages 12 to 15 on Monday, the same day the U.S. set a global record for new COVID cases in the pandemic. As long as we have this many people unvaccinated, as long as we don't have masking, this will continue in one iteration or another. Dr. Gregory Poland is an infectious disease expert at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. He says booster shots offer more protection against Omicron, which means a positive case will likely lead to no symptoms or symptoms that are mild. People who are fully immunized, boosted, may still get uh, infected, but the vast majority of disease is blocked in them. Pfizer said lab tests showed their booster increased antibodies 25-fold. The CDC also updated its recommendations Tuesday on the timing of Pfizer's booster shots. Anyone over the age of 12 would be eligible for a booster five months after completing their vaccine series instead of six months. The Minnesota Department of Health estimates around 90% of the state's positive tests right now are the Omicron variant. More than 1.7 million Minnesotans have received a booster dose. But will there be a fourth shot? No one knows. What do I think is going to happen? I think that uh, we are going to end up having to take a much more personalized approach. Kate Raditz, WCCO4 News. The CDC is also now recommending that immunocompromised 5 to 11 year olds receive an additional dose of vaccine 28 days after their second shot. Right now, the Pfizer vaccine is the only one authorized for that age group.